Hello students and welcome again as we check our multiplication and division of complex numbers. So let us jump right in. Kindly remember to subscribe, share and also comment on these lessons. Now we have multiplication and division. So we start with multiplication. So we have uh, multiplication, uh, right? So as we start multiplication, there is something you need to remember at the back of your mind and that is j square is given by negative of what? Negative of 1. Because we know j is the root of negative 1. Therefore, j square just cancels out the square, uh, the square cancels out the square root, and you remain that j square is given by negative 1. Therefore, in general, we say if you have two complex numbers, z1 given by a plus uh, jb and z2 equals to c plus j d the multiplication of these two will just be done uh, the same way we do multiplication of our factors so we have z1 z2 that is our multiplication will be given by a plus j b multiplied by c plus j d all right now you know how to multiply this first term will open this bracket then the second term will also open the same, same, the same, same bracket. So we start with our first term A. So that means A times C is as what? A, C. A uh, multiplied by J, D, it will give us, so we can start with our J, then we have our A, then we have our what? Our D. Then we come to the second term, it also opens up the other side of the bracket. So we have J, B multiplied by C, so therefore we shall get J, then B, then we have what? We have C. Then we have this term and this term. So we have a J and we have a J. What do we have? What is J times J? It is J square. Then B times D just gives us B, D. Now, simplifying this further. So we shall have AC. Now, let's just rewrite this. Uh, J, A, D plus J, B, C. Now, what is our J square by the end of the day? Our j squared is given by what? Negative of negative of one. So replacing this by negative of one, this whole uh, thing here becomes negative of b d. Replacing the uh, j squared with negative one, we have negative of b d. So therefore, we can take terms that do not have j. Those are will be our real parts, uh, and the terms that have j will be our imaginary. So therefore, we'll have a c is a real part. Then we have minus of BD uh, is also another real part. Then we have these two are imaginary parts. So we can have, so we can say we have that as our real part. Then we can have plus, we have our J outside because it is common here and common here. Then you have this and these terms here. So we shall have AD uh, plus the BC. So in general, Anytime you have a multiplication of uh, multiplication of two complex numbers, kindly just remember you just be doing an expansion, the normal expansion that expand two factors. So we have this term opening uh, the whole of this bracket, this term also opening the whole of that bracket. But at the back of your mind, you always need to remember that j square is given by negative of one. Then from there, just collect your like terms and put them together. So the real part you put them together, the imaginary part you put them together. So let's check one example to illustrate how to multiply uh, complex numbers. So uh, we are given two uh, complex numbers. You are given, uh, you are being given compl uh, two complex numbers, z1 and z2 given by 4 plus 2j uh, or j2. Let me, let me just rewrite it. We have the j at the beginning, right? Then we have uh, this term here. So determine z1, z2. So this symbol, so this one will be given by, so z1, z2 will be given by 4 plus j2 multiplied by, uh, we have 2 minus j2, right? So we have that. Now we open up the bracket the same way we did before. So using uh, the general terms. So this term will open this bracket, and also this term will open the other bracket. So uh, the same, same bracket. So we have 4 times 2, which gives us what? 8. 
So this times this, then this times this. So 4 times negative 2 it gives us negative, uh, let's start with a j, j, then j, h. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times negative 2 is, uh, we see we have a j, then we have 8. Then we come to this part, we have a 2 and a 2 here, so 2 times 2 gives you, uh, it gives you 4, so plus j, 4. Then we have this term and this term. So remember we have a positive, we have a negative here. So a positive and a negative gives you a negative, that is the first thing. Then j times j gives you j square. 2 times 2 gives you gives you 4. Now, so we have that minus j8 plus j4. Now, we say our j square is given by negative of 1. So if we replace this with a negative of 1, and we have another negative here, the negative and the negative cancels out. So you get a positive value. So we have a negative 1 here by j squared, then we have a negative. So negative 1, a negative, then we have negative 1, becomes positive. So you have a positive of, we have a positive of 4. Therefore, uh, taking the real terms and imaginary terms together, so 8 plus 4 gives you what? Gives you 12. Then minus 8 plus 4. So you just take uh, the numerals here. So minus 8 plus 4 gives you negative of what? Negative of 4. So we have negative of 4, but we just have our j starting there. So therefore, z1 multiplied by z2 is given by 12 minus j4.